Hello, Adam Kopech, Excel lover from Poland. Sometimes we want to highlight the rows for weekends. So we can use for this condition formatting, but first of all, we have to create proper formula that will return true for Saturday and Sunday because those are days of the weekend. So we can start with weekday function that will return the number of the day in the week. But the full numeration gives 7 to Saturday and 1 for Sunday. It's not proper in our solution, so we have to change it by changing the sequence of numbers of the week. And the most proper for us are 1 for Monday, 2 for Tuesday and so on to 7 for Sunday. So we have to write 2 in a second weekday function argument. And now Saturday is 6 and Sunday is 7. We can clearly see that weekend are numbers bigger than 5. We can now simply create a logical test if the weekday number is greater than 5. So if we copy our formula down, we can see that for Saturday and Sunday we have true. The formula returns true. But for each of other days of the week we have false. So it's proper result for us, but we have to remember that we want to highlight whole row. So we have to ask ourselves how our reference should behave. When we copy our formula down, so we uh, want to copy our formula down and we want the row clearly to change. And we also want to copy our formula to the right horizontally. And now we always want to look at a column, at the date. So even if we go further to the right, we always want to look at a column and sell from a column. For that, we have to lock columns, but rows set free. So it's our whole formula, just one more dollar. And when we copy our formula down, nothing will change, but it's important when we copy our formula to the right. We can see by copying it a bit to the right, a bit to the down, now we have true in a row and false in rows that aren't weekends. So now we can copy our formula C and we have to select whole range on which we want to add conditional formatting. So from A2, shift once to the right, twice to the right, and now control shift down to the end of our data. And it's important that A2 cell is active cell. We start creating our formula from this cell perspective. So now we can from home tab add condition formatting new rule. And we want to use formula. Now I can press Ctrl V to copy to paste my formula and let's format it just fill color some kind of a gray. Okay, okay. And now every day on the weekend are highlighted in the way we choose. 